Recently, Russian media outlets suggest that the large-scale production of an advanced stealth drone, operating on reactive power and referred to as the S-70 Okhotnik, Hunter, is set to commence in late 2024. This information, as noted by the vice governor of the Novosibirsk district, Sergei Semik, warrants our attention. Why, you might ask? Well, rewind to April 2023, and Moscow had announced a serial production timeframe for the S-70 Okhotnik beginning no sooner than 2025. So, in essence, Russia is saying that they could kick off the production of this unmanned attack aircraft six months earlier than they initially intended. The buzz around an earlier-than-expected production timeline for the S-70 this year does hold some substance, even if the probability may seem slim. On what basis, you might wonder? Well, as of mid-2023, the Russian Aerospace Forces, VKS or RUIF, initiated state tests of the S-70 that could potentially pave the way for production. Suspense shrouds the progress of these tests, as Moscow is yet to disclose whether the testing is ongoing, how the tests are being executed, how the S-70 is faring, or the overall status of the project. This lack of transparency injects an element of doubt about Moscow's ability to commence serial production by the latter half of 2024. The S-70 Okhotnik project has faced its share of skepticism in the past, primarily because of several delays in test completion and initiation of production. In 2020, Russia's UAC had set a goal to start S-70 production in 2023, which later shifted to 2024, and subsequently to 2025. In the summer of 2023, another dubious claim arose when Russia alleged that the S-70 Okhotnik had hit targets in Ukraine. However, a comprehensive examination of the footage fails to corroborate this claim, suggesting it could have been the Iranian, Russian, Shahed-171 instead of the S-70 Okhotnik. Currently, there is no hard evidence to establish whether it was the Russian stealth drone or the Iranian drone. Let's take a moment to examine the S-70 Okhotnik more closely. It's a sizable aircraft, boasting a fuselage length of 14 meters and a wingspan of 19 meters, roughly comparable to the MiG-29. It's worth noting that the S-70's takeoff weight is said to be up to 25 tons, including a combat load of up to 3 tons. The makeup of the three-ton combat load of the S-70 Okhotnik remains uncertain. Initial project surveys suggested that this jet-based UAV would feature a wide range of guided air weapons, from anti-aircraft missiles to tactical aviation cruise missiles. The aircraft reportedly has internal weapons bays akin to that of the Su-57 fighter, enabling the use of the same beyond visual range weaponry. This includes R-77M air-to-air missiles and KH-59 Mk-2 air-to-surface missiles that can evade radar detection. However, by late 2020, Russia communicated plans to use Okhotnik for deploying unguided aerial bombs. Given this, it's plausible that Russia may aim to modify its S-70 to launch hovering bombs equipped with UMPK modules. However, the pace at which Russia can produce the Okhotnik remains uncertain.
First sighted in July 2018, the aircraft serves a compelling array of roles, encompassing breaches of enemy airspace and participation in air dominance missions. As the Okotnik fighters enhance their stealth capabilities and promise to be more cost-effective, they are expected to supplement the forces with advanced manned aircraft. Despite previous delays, the anticipated boost in production could lead to the delivery of 12 to 16 new airframes to the Air Force in 2023. Earlier, the Russian Navy will operate the S-70 Okotnik, Hunter, Unmanned Combat Aerial Vehicle, UCAV, according to its top naval commander, besides the Inokadets drone. It has also announced plans to develop an aircraft carrier to compete with Western navies. While the S-70 is the designated loyal wingman of the Su-57 Felon 5th generation fighter as a part of a manned-unmanned teaming concept, the Inokadets could be the serious reconnaissance strike drone that Russia has been using since last year to aid long-range strikes into and surveillance of Ukrainian ground positions. Navy Commander-in-Chief Admiral Nikolai Yevmenov was referring to the modernization of the naval aviation arm, which he said would be reinforced with Okhotnik and Inokadets attack drones. Specific attention is paid to the development of unmanned aviation, The delivery of Inokadets and Okhotnik modern drones is planned, a TASS report quoted Krasnaya Zvezda, Red Star. Yevmov added that the Russian Navy is studying the feasibility of a promising naval aircraft carrier complex, the use of which will increase the efficiency of solving various operational tasks. 